What's up, friends of YouTube, fellow viewers? Welcome back. Today is our first tutorial in No Man's Skies because I was really pondering on this one question. How in the flipping world do you get the Atlas Pass? Because it can help you open barrels and chests and all that stuff. So I was wondering how to get this. So I looked it up and anyway, I'm here to share this tutorial with you today because what you will need to do is head to a space station and come over here to your cartographer and you're going to need to either buy a random map or you can buy a specific chart and I'm pretty sure you need planetary so we're just gonna go ahead and buy this uh, this planetary one and it should be right here and this is not the one that we we'll want. You'll see in blue it says distress signal. This is not what we want. We want one that says uh, secure or security something. I forget what it says, but it will be marked in red. So we're gonna go ahead and sell this back to him. Whoops, I asked for help, didn't mean to do that. So we're going to sell him back this map and buy another one because we're looking for a specific map and usually how this is done is you just buy a random map so we'll do that we'll just buy a random map let's go back out and we're just gonna buy a random map so let's go here and we'll buy a random map. Hopefully, it'll be the one that we want. Let's see here. It's a planetary chart. Let's see, is it the one that we want? No, it, it's, it's not. So, let's buy a couple of these. Here. Buy another one. Is it a planetary chart? see yes and they're and they're both ones that we don't want so you are looking for a specific type that's that will be marked in red it will have its words will be in red so let's sell these and let's buy one of these um, of an inhabited outpost planetary chart coordinates of a distress signal well here it is this planetary chart right here a secure site of interest this is what we're looking for right here I was buying the wrong planetary chart I'm so sorry so we're looking for this one so let's go ahead and buy this and we're gonna use this map right now so just plot route all right manufacturing facility detected that's what we're looking for so where is it at let's see I'm pretty sure we have to use our scanner to see it's over here so let's just tag that and we'll fly right out and go get this so basically what this is doing is it's not gonna actually give you the Atlas Pass because it'd be way too easy to just get 15 nanites by your, by your pass and then, you know, just have some really good loot from chests. No, 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 because the game knows that that's just way too easy for anybody. So we're gonna go warp to this oh look it's on our paradise planet so let's hover over this and warp to it and basically what you're gonna need is you're going to a need to have unlocked the warp cell I believe and this will be the next thing in your tree to unlock so you have to use salvage data I think or data however you say it in order to unlock it but I am not actually quite sure because I haven't unlocked this myself, but it's going to unlock it in a uh, crafting tree that you can now craft it and use it. 
I'm not sure if you're gonna only be able to use it once and then you can craft it. Uh, and then you craft another one and then you can use that one again, like one time use only. But the only thing I can tell you is that this is how you can unlock it and it should be the only way unless someone in the anomaly comes by and like drops you one. But it's gonna take you a while to get, especially if you want a specified drop, it's, it's gonna take you a while. And beware that there are going to be sentinels here and please land, I don't understand why I'm not landing. Why, why? There we go. But beware, there are going to be sentinels here because they don't want, because like I said, this isn't just gonna be your, like, oh, you know, it's gonna be this easy, I get 15 nanites and I unlock it. No, of course, there, there just has to be sentinels here. You have to defeat sentinels, you have to uh, get the, the, type, the type of currency that you're gonna need to unlock. It, and of course you're gonna need to venture out here. So let's just go ahead and call our ship here in case we need in case we need to get in it quickly from the sentinels and I'm gonna have to recharge my life support so let's just do that. Very important to know at each one of these facilities there is going to be a save. Okay, and I'll tell you why we're gonna need this. Inside, in order to unlock the Atlas Pass V1, we are going to need to answer a riddle. And if we get that riddle incorrectly, that was our one shot. So we're going to need to save here. And in case we get the riddle wrong, we are going to need to reload our save. So let's save right here. And now we are saved. So in case we stuff this riddle up, we can just reload our game and we'll be good to go. So let's just get, oh nice, we got some navigation data. I had to waste some of that to get my ship over there. So we got some back. Let's just put this in our starship. And you know, there's also gonna be some crates for your likings to take if you wish. So, do I need to save it again? Let's just save it one more time just to be safe. And of course, to be extra safe, we're going to get into our fighter and out in case we need to hop out again. Now you're gonna notice, of course, they just had to make this m harder. Cause look, you'll notice it's a reinforced door. But the good thing is, is the Sentinels will attack you, which isn't good, but as soon as you get in, they can't attack you even if they come in. So let's switch over to our Blaze Javelin here. And we're just gonna break this door. Let's just, yeah, see, we're detected here. So we're pretty much just gonna dodge these guys and hope that we don't die up until we get inside and then they'll lose track of us. Even if they're inside, they can't shoot us no matter how hard they try. So let's dodge these guys because I'm pretty sure that they beat the Sentinels in one of the last updates. So let's just run inside here, let's run inside, let's run inside. Okay, we are safe now. You'll see sentinels are now searching, and even if they come inside, their AI forbids them from actually being able to notice us. So, while we're in here just chilling, waiting for them to forget about us, see, like, look, I, I can, like, hey buddy, hello. So, there's plenty of things for you to search here because, you know, why not? So you got some navigation data. What else can we search in here? There's going to be a couple things that you can take for your likings, like nanites, navigation data. What else? Yep, see, Sentinel Force deactivated. But this alarm is not deactivated. So here's what we're gonna need to do. Right after, let's, let's learn a word, because I think this is gonna be helpful, so. Read encyclopedia. Nice, we learned the Viking word for interloper, whatever that means. So this is our thing, so. A, a, a parole here, Hero Labs, Viking, Viking Manufacturing Facility. All right. The alarm has locked the terminal. A message displays itself letter by letter on screen, or on the screen. Blah, 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 interloper, whatever that says. The alarm shows no sign of stopping. 
I noticed wall-mounted security scanners slowly turn towards me. I believe it's number two is what we have to do. This right here. Yes. Okay. So you pick number two. It is gonna cost you a microprocessor, but I mean, it's worth it, I guess. I apply an overdrive circuit to the circuit relay. Remarkably, my ad hoc wiring seems to work. The alarm stops and the terminal grants me full access. All right. All right, normal operations have resumed and I have access to the facility's main control panel. Should I be able to protect, should I, bleh. I should be able to alter production to my own benefit. Now here's the thing. There's a bunch of cool stuff over here. Sometimes it's extract units, sometimes it's extract nanites, sometimes it's create multi-tool expansion slot, but there's always going to be learn new recipe. All right, all this stuff is really cool, but once you pick one of these, you won't be able to pick again. So if I pick extract nanites, I can't come back and get the rest of the things. So no matter what, even if you really want this multi-tool expansion slot, if you want the Atlas V pass, you're going to need to click learn new recipe. And see, now I have the Atlas V1 pass. All I need now is just to get the stuff that I can craft it with. So you just have to uh, click on it and now I have learned the formula for the Alice V1 pass. Now all I need is, well, just the stuff that I need to craft it. So if I go into my inventory now, I should be able to scroll down and see the Atlas V1 pass somewhere. I don't know where I'm gonna find it at, but yeah, here it is, Atlas pass V1. I don't know how I didn't see it. I need 200 copper and one microprocessor which isn't too hard to get so let's just go ahead standing increased blueprint recorded to catalog so now that you guys know it's pretty much always going to be number two and plant microprocessor so you're going to need to bring at least one microprocessor with you um but i hope that this tutorial was helpful for you and i hope that you can learn how to get the atlas v1 pass and eventually what you can do is is you can keep on buying these charts and you can keep on buying planetary charts and coming to these facilities and learning new recipes as you can see because it gives you one one thing to unlock a new recipe with and you can choose any one of those but you're going to want to choose the atlas pass if you want the atlas the atlas pass because it's pretty as, as far as i know this is pretty much the only way to get an atlas pass without uh waiting or begging for another player to give you one because maybe that will unlock blueprints but i'm not quite sure so please like and subscribe if this tutorial was helpful for you and i hope that you guys can use this knowledge to help you out with your future journeys with the atlas v1 pass thank you so much for watching this is me dragonfire peace and out goodbye